up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for joining us. If you're not, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. In today's video, it's gonna be like I mentioned in my previous video. If you have not watched it, go ahead and go do that. Um, it's pretty much a makeup haul. That's what it is. Um, I've been so excited. I've been wanting to do this ever since I bought the makeup, but you know, sometimes you don't have enough time. So I actually go back to school today and I've been running around doing errands and getting everything ready. Um, you know, doing the usual wife stuff, laundry, cooking, kind of cleaning. <laughs> I'm not the best at doing that, but you know, it is what it is. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, makeup haul. I am so excited, you guys. So I actually went to Target with my mother and we went on a shopping type of spree, sort of. I bought some stuff for her, obviously. Um, she's not really like the makeup type, but she does ask me like, you know, oh, you know, do you know this would look good on me? Like, blah, blah, meaning she wants me to buy it for her, but that's fine, I don't mind. How many times you bought things for me, right? Anyways, let's get started, you guys. Um, just relax, chill. This is not gonna be makeup applying, applying makeup because I go back to school and I honestly don't do my makeup to go to school. Um, but yeah, all right, if you guys wanna see this drugstore makeup haul, just keep on watching. All right, so here's the bag. It's pretty heavy. I mean, with the, oh, whoa, I may not do that. With the makeup, I also bought some like, you know, shampoo, conditioners and stuff, so that I'm not gonna include that in there. I'm also, I'm actual, I am also going to include things I didn't buy at Target, but they're part of the makeup situation. So we're gonna start off with some makeup remover wipes. I bought some uh, Neutrogena makeup remover. I've never tried this one. It's a night calming, ultra soft, nourishing cloth, gently dissolve all trace of makeup, even waterproof mascara. And that's what I need. Because when I don't wear makeup, this is exactly what I need. Um, and I also bought this, woo! <laughs> I also bought this one I've had this one before I actually really did like this one um, it does remove makeup really really well and you don't have to use as many as like other makeup remover wipes um, we're gonna start off with mascara because I actually did go looking for a specific one and it's the one that I mentioned in that other video the Maybelline the two double-sided one but they didn't have it and I was so sad I was like what the heck I, I they don't have they don't have the makeup the makeup the mascara that I wanted so I was like let me try to buy these and see I haven't tried it I haven't opened them this one is physicians formula um, it's in black and it's natural origin physicians organic wear it's an organic I'm all for, I see something that's like organic, I'm like, let me try it out because you gotta be healthy. <laughs> I got this also by Maybelline. It's the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. And this is, it gives you a bolder look, which is what I need. I don't need lengthening mascara, I need something that's gonna make them look fuller because I have long, lash, long lashes already. And I also got the Rimmel. I actually don't own anything by Rimmel because yeah and it's retro glam mascara also wide-eyed volume um yeah no clamps bold look that's what i need so i will be trying these out in future videos if you guys have any of these let me know in the comments down below and whether you liked it or not just let me know you know we all have our opinions but i've never tried it myself so and then i also bought this elf oil control liquid lotion with tea tree oil um it's their honestly i just i love pink like not the pink pink but like this pink and it's comes like this how do what this light is not anyways it just looks like this and yeah there you go so oh, that's weird yeah, yeah, we're gonna be trying this out. Also, let me know if you've had it before. I bought a Wet n Wild Contouring Palette Contour. I actually already used this and I did like it. I really did like it. 
It's uh, how do you do this so the camera doesn't move it a little bit? Yeah, and it's um, dulce de leche. Dulce de leche. I think I've seen Tati use said something, but it might have been something else. But anyways, I just realized that's what it's called. That's kind of cool. Okay, and then another contour palette I got is a True Complexion Contour Palette. BR, what's Black Radiance? That's the company. And it looks like this, and it's it has a contour, sculpt, and a highlight, which is really cool. It's like a three-in-one, you know? Ah, okay. That's that. Some more e.l.f. products I got were the Pore Toner Balm with green tea and witch hazel. I'm actually really excited to try this one as well. And the Poreless putty primer and it's a sheer one so we'll see how it looks it comes in like this in a little jar um yeah that's that i got more bronzers the wet and wild color icon bronzer and ticket to brazil that's what it's called and it's really pretty i haven't tried it obviously and the palm beach ready and this is also the same bronzer like the same but this one is a little bit less this is a little darker this one's a little lighter I'm really excited to try those sorry guys I just don't want to keep the bag on me because I it's too noisy up here but anyways foundation I got two of the same Rimmel lasting to finish 25 hour breathable long wear foundation it looks like that and I got, it's medium, high definition finish medium coverage. I got two of them, but I got them in different shades. I got it in, oh, where's the shade? Light Nude and Classic Ivory, because I don't know what shade I am right now. I think it's this one, but in the winter, this is gonna come in handy because, and they had them on sale, so it's like, buy one, get the other one half off. So I was like, why not? And then I also got the Dewy, the Maybelline Fit Me um, foundation in color 230 natural buff and this is the one I was wearing um, Saturday if you guys have me on Instagram it's very dewy and I'm like it's okay I mean I wanted to have something not so cakey looking so I also do use the matte one on this too but I'm out and I didn't buy it I thought I did but I didn't and I also got the Wet n Wild Foundation Golden Beige Color. Um, it's a medium coverage foundation. And it says goodbye photo flashback. So I'm really excited about that because I like to take pictures. And I thought I had gotten two of these also. I thought I had gotten two of each, but I didn't. Never mind, I got it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This one is a cream beige and this is a golden beige. So I think I'm this color right now, but I might be this one. So I don't know. It's that awkward time right now and I hate it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have this one on me. So let me. So. Oh, my pinks. I got some eyeshadow palettes as well because right now I am like an eyeshadow palette geek. I like to try them out. And they had this e.l.f. 18 Hit Wonder foundation, I mean foundation, eyeshadow palette. And they had them buy one, get the other one half off. So guess what? I bought the other one. This is more neutral colors. They're going to be pretty for the like upcoming fall season. This one, I just, I'm in love, I'm just obsessed with these shades right here. And you know what's funny? I don't even wear them as often. Like I'm so scared to do bright colors like this because you just gotta be a foundation, a foundation, what? A blending master. And sometimes I just get tired and I'm like, oh, forget this. So I go back to my neutral colors, but that's that. I also have the Color Story Decadence, Decadence Pressed Pigment Palette. And it looks like this. I'm in love with the color. You know, it reminded me of the Juvia, Juvia palettes, Juvia palettes, palettes. Is that what they're called? I don't remember. Because of the colors and it has a mirror, so that's a plus. And their colors are very warm as well. 
you see. And I was like, fall. Okay, I, I'm almost there. This video is really fast because I got school in a little bit. I also got the blush palette by Kai. Kai Para Mi. I've never ever seen this brand before. And I think it's actually owned by a Hispanic woman. I'm guessing. I think. Oh wait, I think it was Jesse. Jesse and Joy. You know that dual person? Like, what's it called? Jesse and Joy? Is that what I'm saying? But I think that was her. Because my mom was like, oh, it's Jesse. I'm like, how does she know? It? But anyways, mm. it's called Kai. Literally, like, fall for me. Kai para me. Fall for me. But it's like not grammatically correct in Spanish. Because nobody Kai para me. Like, that's weird. And it has four shades. It's a light, <laughs> light, and they put clarito. So it's a light, like very bright pinks. We're gonna try those out and see how I like them. I also got this Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow palette as well. I'm not a fan of small palettes just because I really like to go in there and like get as much product as I need. Um, and these are really hard to get in because they're smaller, but they had them for so I was like, mm, gotta get it. And, oh, same brand, Kai Para Mi, a bronzer in color Tropes Tan. This is bronzeador, the same Tropes, Tropes. I got the Physician's Formula Rose. I'm going to say Rose because, I don't know if you can see, but it has a, you can't like a little as accent right there so it's rosé all day oil free serum brightens and tightens and it's pink so i was like that's heck pretty that's super pretty and i think it's glass so and it's a dropper obviously look that's cute i liked it we're almost there second to last they had these wet and wild color icon glitter in singles and they had them they only had three shades which i was sad but i've never ever tried these before well i haven't tried any of these products so that doesn't make sense but i've never i'm not a fan of glitter like glitter on your eyelids is way too messy for me like i said it's just i can't i can't i can't i try to do as simple as i can as easy as i can i don't try to complicate my life if i don't need to only school can complicate my life that's it but this color is brass and then bleached which looks nothing like bleach i don't know spiked i don't know where they come up with these colors but guess how much they were i'm gonna tell you a secret but don't tell anybody okay they were 78 cents let's see oh and then as you can tell i'm not really into lipsticks right now because i only got one and it's the Kai Para Mi brand. I actually got a, I thought I didn't get that many. And it's two in one lip gloss and a lipstick. So, oh, it's sealed. I don't want to open it. It's a lipstick right here and a lip gloss down here. That's actually really pretty. I didn't even know that when I bought it. I just realized it right now. Ah! <laughs> okay. And then I got, I think, two more things for you that I didn't buy here a target but i bought it where i work and i got these they are a limited edition eyelashes and it's by kiss i envy i actually wore these on saturday that's why they look look look, look. they don't want to stay in their place but that's where they go and they have different shade they have different it's pretty much all all the popular ones that they sell a lot so they're trying to just give you all in one I know I mentioned this a couple weeks ago I got when I had my my skin still feeling like somewhat it comes back and then it leaves so it's kind of weird but um, this is what I bought to make my and it's helps so much it's the argan oil day night moisturizer with peptide complex by one and only but this is really good it smells really amazing I love the smell of it and it actually reminds me of vacation because I got it when I was on vacation. Which is always good. I don't do this to show off because I've never been able to, like, I've never ever in my life been able to buy this many products at once. And, you know, God has been blessing me. He's 
he's amazing and I just gotta give thanks to the big man above but all these products that I bought they were on sale like I mean like maybe one or two or three weren't but half of them were like buy one get the other one half off or they were like under 10 bucks like honestly most of my products that I bought were under ten dollars so that's like a big plus to me and that's why I try to stay within this area because I was like I don't want to do too much and like you know invest so much where I'm gonna be broke <laughs> so I didn't want to do that and yeah so that was the end of the video I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this let me know if you want me to do more makeup hauls but with moderation because I don't want to go broke but anyways um yeah i hope you guys enjoy this i'm so excited to start trying out these products honestly other than this one i've never ever tried any of these products before it's the mascara everything i've never tried before i have not tried these before and i'm so excited to give like first impression with my makeup gotta go you guys um i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day of your week once again good luck for those of you starting school this week and i will see you guys later make sure to stay safe stay blessed and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up once before you go off to watch someone else um subscribe to my channel if you have not already we are almost we're growing little by little we're almost 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 getting to my goal uh for this year if you guys want to support me on that please give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and keep coming back to see my videos. You guys, um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.